Hello, I'm Josh from NRS, and today we'll be discussing how to replace your military valve or boom. The first thing you'll want to evaluate is which of these needs replacement. To do this, inflate your boat to pressure and use some soapy water to determine if it's the valve or boot that's leaking. Bubbles will appear wherever there's a leak. In some situations, you may just need to retighten the valve or the screws. To replace the valve, use a screwdriver to remove the old screws. Save these and the valve as they may be useful in the future. We also carry replacement screws if the old ones are rusty or not reusable. Depending on the make of your boat, you will most likely need the white nylon military valve. However, some models, such as the Riken or Achilles, may require the Riken specific military valve. To reinstall the valve, simply replace the screws you removed. There's no glue required for this step, however, if you're having a hard time achieving a good seal, you can use a small amount of silicone. To check the seal, reinflate the boat, and spray soapy water around the valve. If the boot needs to be replaced, the steps to replace it are a little bit more involved. To replace the boot, you will need Hypalon glue or Stay Bond if you have a PVC or urethane boat, brushes, solvent, sandpaper, rags, and a heat gun or hairdryer. You will also need the necessary safety equipment such as a respirator, safety glasses, and gloves. Using the heat gun or hairdryer, remove the boot by applying heat to the area where the boot and boat connect. Note that you will have to pull the boot away as you heat it up, and you don't want to apply too much heat to the boat. Once the boot's removed, you can begin the three stages of using glue, mechanical, chemical, and application. For the mechanical stage, use 180 grit sandpaper or a roller rasp to sand both the top of the boot and the area where the boot will be applied to. Moving on to the chemical stage, you'll want to clean all sanded and peripheral areas with the appropriate solvent. For rubbers, use toluol. For PVC and urethane, use MEK, and when in doubt, use acetone. It's important during both the chemical and gluing stage that you wear the appropriate safety equipment. Next, we're moving on to the application stage, which is particular to the type of glue that you'll be using. For this reason, it's very important that you read all instructions provided with the glue, as they may vary from those that we are presenting here. If your boat is made out of Hypalon or rubber fabrics, you'll want to use Clifton's Hypalon adhesive. If your boat is made out of PVC, urethane, or other fabrics, you'll want to use Stabon adhesives. Today we're working with Hypalon fabric, so we'll be using Clifton's Hypalon adhesive. However, we will be discussing how to use Stabon as well. Using your brush, paint one thin coat of glue on both the boat and the boot. Note, you'll need to apply two more coats of glue, waiting 10 to 30 minutes between each coat. This part of the process is the same for both Clifton's Hypalon adhesive and Stabon adhesive. When you're using Clifton's Hypalon adhesive, you'll want to wait 10 to 30 minutes or until the glue is dry and tacky before you apply the boot to the boat. If you're using Stabon adhesive, you'll only want to wait 5 to 10 minutes after the third coat. Using wax paper, carefully maneuver the boot into the boat. Once the boot is in the boat, remove the wax paper. Working from one side to the other, carefully push the boat onto the boot. Be careful to not catch any air bubbles between the boot and the boat. Once the boot and boat are joined together, use a pro roller or roller rasp to roll out every millimeter of the glued area. You'll want to do this from multiple angles. The goal here is to remove any incidental air bubbles and to help mesh the glue together. You'll want to wait at least 24 hours before you put any stress on this area. This includes rolling the boat up or putting air pressure into it. If you misalign the boot, simply use a brush with solvent on it to remove the boot from the boat. Wait five to 10 minutes and use the appropriate solvent to reactivate the glue on both the boot and the boat. If you're left with any glue residue, use the appropriate solvent and a rag to clean it up. If you have any other questions about boat repair, please give us a call or check out some of our online resources at nrsweb.com.